three major music entertainment. We have uh, SM Entertainment, she explained already, yes, and JYP Entertainment, and YG Entertainment. So uh, each uh, entertainment has uh, very famous idol stars. And I'm explaining here, showing here, Girls' Generation, Sin, Sini? Shiny. Shiny, you see better than me. <laughs> Super Junior Boa, uh, let me talk about Boa later. <laughs> uh, yes, JYP Entertainment, Wonder World, Wonder Girls, 2 a.m., 2 p.m., this A. Yeah, YG Entertainment, 7, 2, NEI, 1, Big Bang, Sai. Look, since Sai became world star, now the YG Entertainment jumped up number one. I'm showing you the money, how much they earn now. So, how rich the owners of a free music entertainment. Except for this Suman, he is uh, around the 50s. But Yang Hyun Se, Park Jin Young, they are around the 30s. Am I right? How old are they? Korean students, they know, they know better than me. How old are they? <laughs> Park Jin Young, how old is he? Park Jin Young, already 40. Around 40. About, uh, Jung, Yang Hyun Seok, around 40. Yeah. Look, Yang Hyun Seok, I cannot count the money. So I uh, changed the US dollars. One dollar, one thousand, one hundred. Korean one is uh, uh, I'm talking about just the uh, uh, stock markets. Three o six uh, two o six billion US dollars. That's a stock market that he had hold. SM Lee Suman, he has one ninety million US dollars. And Park Jin Young, he is a tourist. Five, so five, eight hundred thousand US dollars. Tourist about here, so he is a millionaire. So let me tell you about the roles of a PR practitioners. The role. I uh, summarize three around three. First, arranging TV program. We have uh, many TV programs showing music audition or uh, songs, concerts. For the singers. So sometimes they, I put here one plus one system, but they never say one plus one system, but I say one plus one system, which means, um, for instance, YG family strategies, a famous singer group, one, two, any, two, two, any one. It's a very strange name to me. To anyone, plus rookie singer Lee Hai, yeah, Lee Hai, collaboration stage, collaboration stage. This is the way to make uh, unknown <coughs> idol star well known star. So one plus one collaborating stage, and the. PR practitioners, they try to recruit and train potential singers. Look, the left side, Boa, 15 years ago, Boa was uh, just 12 years old. She was, when Boa was 12 years old, her brother attended audition, music audition, and she was by accident there. At the same time, Lee Suman, he was the owner of uh, SM Entertainment, found uh, her potential how and selected at that spot. And he decided to recruit her. How much he paid? Now she's 27 years old. At the time, he invested uh, US dollars, 208, 2.800 thousand US dollars for training, singing, also training, dancing. Or she made the debut not in Korea, in Japan, or 
Japan or United States. So she was trained in Japanese language and English as well. And fitness, diet, everything. Some cosmetics as well. I mean, uh, plastic surgeries. <laughs> uh, that's a small secret. I don't know, but it was known. Uh, weekday, uh, five hours practice. And weekend, uh, 10 hours practice. And look, entertainments pay a lot of, I mean, put a lot of money to make idol stuff. And later on, uh, Boa became a world star. So they, uh, I think, they made a good investment on her. And also, they are surveying domestic and world music marketing. What kind of music they would like to? And what generation they are uh, eager to watch? What type of idols they... So they invest in all the markets and they arrange the time schedule, where we go, when we go. So SM Entertainment, uh, they prepare talent concert uh, here. Uh, SM Girls Generation Tour of Malaysia, Taipei, Singapore, Hong Kong, Bangkok, total Asian countries uh, between uh, 31st of May to uh, 6th uh, December last year. So uh, this, this kind of uh, works, the PR practitioners, they do. Look, the music industry is evolving in Korea now. So, Perhaps some of the Malaysian students, when they visit Korea, uh, first thing they were surprised to find that there are so many singing room in the street. Singing room, have you heard about singing room? You don't have it yet. But we have a lot. Karaoke? Something like karaoke. The more professionalized karaoke we have. Uh, Karaoke from Japan. Norebang is a, a different type of uh, karaoke. We call Norebang. Nore means song. Bang means room. Song room. It does make sense. Anyway, singing room. So when you get drink, everybody goes to Norebang. And we love to sing and drunk. And coming home around the 12 or 1. Open the door. Your wife is very furious. <laughs> Where have you been? Noreba. Noreba allowed to go. So even our housewives, they go Noreba together. So very popular. So when you visit Korea, please be prepared to sing at least 10 songs. Because two hours, for instance, my sister, she is crazy about singing. Sometimes she cannot find a company to go with. She go alone and sing one hour alone. When I visit her, she kind of asked me, can you accompany with me? Yes, I will. So please, uh, I go with her, not about. So, when, while I'm singing, she can find what songs she would like to sing. So, I have to sing. No other choice. You are sometimes forced to sing. This is kind of Korean culture. <laughs> so, while singing, you have to dance together. <laughs> okay. So, if you visit Korea, somebody take you to have a dinner. After dinner, we do not say goodbye. This is now the real stage starts. After dinner, we go well. You can come. Then be prepared to sing. Okay? Rasa sayang. Hey, no, the rasa sayang. <laughs> Korean songs,
지난 3일 미국 CNN 방송에서 티페인이나 로빈 윌리엄스 같은 가수들도 이 뮤직비디오에 열광하고 있다며 사이시의 노래 강남스타일을 소개했습니다. 이어 사이시의 노래가 빌보드 K-POP 차트 핫백 부분 1위를 차지했으며 이미 유튜브를 통해 천만 건 이상의 조회수를 기복 중이라고 설명했습니다. 이뿐만 아니라 미국 지역 방송의 아침 프로그램에서는 일명 말춤이라고 불리는 사이시의 춤을 따라하기도 했습니다. <웃음> 이 모습을 본 누리꾼들은 싸이 세계적으로 사고 치는구나. 우와 싸이 가문의 영광이겠다. 싸이 가만히 앉아서 해외 진출했네. 싸이 빌보드 메인 차트 전쟁에 챔피언하자라는 등의 반응을 보였습니다. 이 같은 미국 시장의 뜨거운 반응의 싸이시는 뜨거운 같은 일이 벌어지고 있다며 설렌다는 기분을 사냈는데요. 소속사 측은 구체적으로 확정하지는 않았지만 반응이 좋은 만큼 사이시의 미국 시장 진출을 긍정적으로 검토해볼 계획이라고 밝혔습니다. 인터넷을 통해 전 세계 하나의 오케이. So, uh, the United States, a very strong uh, mass media, continued to cover size activities, introduced the size. The songs. Uh, perhaps you may remember uh, his name called Ray yes. B. Yes. He tried to debut in the United States, but he failed. Now he's doing his military duty in the army. Soon he will come out. But uh, compared to Sai, Ray looks much handsome. Right? Yes. Taller. He's a good singer. But Ray failed. How Sai could make such a successful debut to the United States? So, uh, according to the uh, professional's analysis, I summarized. First, spread the influence of social media. Sai never went to the United States. Uh, before uh, studying uh, music in the United States, he was uh, never invited to come to sing a song on the United States stage. But he used YouTube and he tried to entertain people. No matter you are from the United States or Malaysia, it doesn't matter. He just tried to entertain with the easy music and fast Tempo, and he made full use of social media. And second, the powerful entertainment of social media infrastructure. Now everybody has a smartphone, and they can watch so easy. If it's interesting, noticeable, you can watch, you can send to your friend. So he became uh, famous day by day. And three. The content of, of the power to shake a train trunk. Okay, that's the, uh, my uh, conclusion. Uh, Sai has made his uh, music life successful since he succeeded in entertaining world people. Now he became millionaire. <laughs>